you know you want to create some really powerful actions on the back end of Member Vault, but you might not be sure how to set those up properly. In this video, I am going to share with you how I gamify some things, how I set up back end actions to move people through um, to get them excited about purchasing the next offer that I have. So what I'm going to do is show you here in my virtual visibility quiz how I set up some back end actions um, based upon when they complete something and when they answer certain quiz questions a certain way. So this is a quiz product that I have. The quiz is built in Try Interact, but let me show you what I do here in Member Vault. So I'm going to show you here. Here's the sales page. Now go out of this. It's encouraging them to take the quiz. When they click here to take the quiz, it actually takes them over to Try Interact. But once they're done with that, it will take them to an outcome page based upon their quiz results from Try Interact. It'll shoot them right back here into Member Vault. Um, so what I'm going to do is on the back end here, I'm in my virtual visibility quiz. Here's my page about taking the quiz and here's my outcomes page that they come back to. So I'm going to show you here how I set up some quiz questions. I basically the quiz results in three different phases of business and what steps they should take based upon that business phase to market their member vault. And then if they're kind of all around, then that's kind of like, or you should maybe get the whole course. Each one of these moves them into a section of an overall course or to take the whole course here. So I'm going to just pop in here to my biz phase one, phase one. So if their results were they're at that first phase of business, I'm going to come down here. And what I've done here is created some questions here at the end of this. Um, I'm going to actually move this one up. I want this question to come first and it really doesn't matter. This is the order I wrote the questions in, but this is the order that the questions will appear. So I'm going to actually have them state what business phase they're in. I set this up as a multiple choice question. Um, they're on the first phase business results page, but I want to put them into separate buckets based on their business phases and to tag them accordingly to that business phase so that I can kick off an email um, and kind of nurture them through an email series based upon whichever business phase they're in. So I've set up these different questions and I've made it so that whether they choose any of these three, they're all listed as the correct answer. Um, so it, what I've done here is I've just, I've made my choices and then I made it so that yes, this is part of the correct choice. So I've saved that choice. Now what we can do is we're going to go back to the main product here, my, my visibility quiz. Now we're going to go to the action section near the bottom. We've put our content in, we've got our great graphic, we've got some product overview text, our sign up type. It's a free product. So they're just going to sign up by a form. Um, they're going to take the quiz, keep going, keep going. But now down here in actions, this is where the magic happens. When they sign up for this product through any method, I'm going to add this tag of quiz. This just lets me know who took my, who, who opted into my product. And in this product, it's a quiz. Okay. And then it's going to send me a notification. Now I'm going to add another action here. If they choose a specific quiz answer. So I have to have already set up my quiz answers. If they're phase one, I'm going to add the tag phase one. This allows me to take this exact tag back to my email service provider, which is active campaign and kick off a series, an automated um, email series with the tag phase one. When they, when they finish and complete this answer to this question, it's going to tag them, relay the tag over to Active Campaign, and then kick off that automated email series if I have this set up properly. Now I'm going to say, let's see, when I go add more, nope, I need a new trigger. So I'm actually going to delete this. I don't want this, but what I want is another action where the trigger is when they answer the quiz question, phase two. 
oops, no, 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 phase two. And you see here how I'm just going to keep adding these phase two. So this is just going to keep adding pegs based upon what quiz answer they, they ask. So the left side of each one of these is the trigger, and then the right side is the result. And this gives me the tag that I can then um, take this exact tag back over to Active Campaign and set up a triggered automated email series that begins when someone is has this tag added to their profile. And I would continue on with phase three. The next action I'm going to do is um, once they have completed that module, I'm going to say complete a product. So completing the product in this instance, I am going to do a celebration. And what a celebration is, is it's just JavaScript that just shoots a whole bunch of confetti onto the screen. It's kind of fun. And so I'm going to add a short message here. And I'm going to be like, woohoo. And then I'm going to um, use this um, uh, first name. Let me finish writing this. Uh, that's going to pull their first name from their information right here in Member Vault. Um, it's a customization tag here in Member Vault. Um, and I might go like this. Uh, now that you know your business phase. Uh, let's get going on adding you more visibility for your amazing uh, MV marketplace. Okay, and so once that's in there, and then we'll show the celebration, it'll be like, woohoo, and then it'll put their name in right there, and then it will also shoot a bunch of confetti out. So that's kind of a fun little back end um, thing that you can do. So we're not only going to do some tagging, you know, of and notifying me when they're added to this product, but I'm also going to do some actions based upon really specific quiz answers that they have. Um, and then I'm also going to do a celebration action when they finish the product. And you can basically change this. I can make um, that celebration when they finish a module or when they complete a lesson. So I can drill down and like keep moving them through that process, keep engaging them and trying to encourage them to complete the next thing. Um, I could also do, you know, if this were like a, a course or um, something that they were moving through, I could give a little teaser message for the next thing that's coming up. Like, hey, good job finishing this. And next you're going to learn this, you know, so you can kind of keep moving them through that process. Uh, and this just helps you to get really great testimonials once people make it all the way through your product. So hopefully that gives you some fun actions you can do on the back end to motivate your clients, subscribers, users, students to move all the way through those great online programs that you're creating.